Air Force balloonist Captain Joseph Kittinger, Jr. is laced into an elaborate pressure suit in preparation for a daring ascent into the stratosphere. Kittinger, who weighs 150 pounds, packs 155 pounds of suit and equipment. The scientific goals of Kittinger's ascent are to test a new six-foot stabilizer parachute designed to keep an ultra-high altitude jumper from spinning and blacking out before he can open the main chute. The balloon reaches a height of 19 and a half miles. Do you read me, Felix? Activate suit and chest pack cameras. Disconnect the oxygen hose. Roger. Okay, Joe, I'm ready. There it is. There's a world out there. Release seat belt. All right, stand up on the exterior step. Keep your head down, and our guardian angel will take care of you. I'm doing it now. Release the helmet tie-down strap. See if you can get a respiratory count. 
Speed 546. We've been falling 25 seconds. Speed 600 miles per hour. 650 miles per hour. Speed 700. Give it, you calling me? I'm reading. Can anybody understand him? One minute, one minute free fall. Okay, thank you. I have been following speed for a long time. Sounds like I had to pass out. One minute, 30 seconds, and stable as a rock. Two minutes into free fall. Uh, oh, yeah. If you look, you're really stable, and you fall in three and a half minutes. Four minutes, free fall. I'm pulling my back. And we had a good shoot on Felix at uh, 8,000 feet. That was really tough. Felix, we're so proud of you. You did absolutely fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. I couldn't have done you better myself. Feel that go. Great going, Felix. Great going, buddy. Automatic camera in the gondola films the leap, and Kittinger falls free, plummeting 16 miles before opening his chute. His maximum speed, 450 miles an hour. But the mission is a complete success. He hits the New Mexico desert with four new records.